Hi friends, Robin here with Natman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes and inviting you along on our adoption journey. So today is a fun unboxing. I'm sure that you've seen the thumbnail and possibly the two other videos that are linked with this one, but we are doing an international box swap and this was all put together and organized by Nicole at Kit Nicole. She lives in Canada. She's a wonderful packer. I feel like, just like you guys, I feel like I know these women that we watch pack boxes and we get to know each other as friends, but we've never met in person. So Nicole decided to take a very long road trip all the way from Canada down here to Texas and along the way stopped to see Trish and Val. This international box swap includes Nicole, Val, and myself. And I cannot wait to see their videos. I can't wait to see um, Nicole unbox what I packed for her. I can't wait to see what Nicole packed for Val. And I can't wait to see what Val packed for me. I say for me. We all know this is for kids. But it's really kind of a gift to get to see how someone else packs. Of course, I watch their channels. I know them very well. I kind of know their style, but I've never like put my hands on it and really seen the things that they get and how they organize. And this is going to be so educational for me to really dig into this box and see how Val put this all together. So just for clarity's sake, um, Nicole left Canada with her box that she packed up there in Canada and drove down to see Val and gave her box to Val from V Swain Shoe Box Sundays. Val gave her this box to drive down to Texas. And while Nicole was visiting here in Texas, I put together a box for her and sent it up back home with her to Canada. And we've all decided to unbox them today and show you what all we put together for the kids, but also for a fellow shoe boxer to get to unpack and learn from. So let's jump into this. First, I wanna say that this is one of the official Sumeritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child plastic go boxes. You can buy this on SumeritansPurse.com. Um, she has also included one of my favorite labels. These are free on Samaritan's Purse. You can order them, they come in packs of 50, so you could be set for years and years. Or if you do bulk um, packing, or if you have friends, y'all can share. But I really like the um, ease of these labels and the clarity. She marked this for a girl aged two to four, and I can't wait to get in here. She also decorated the box just a little bit over here with a unicorn and some hearts. She then um, wrapped it, I guess, closed it, secured it, <laughs> those are the words, <laughs> with this 107 rubber band, and you can get these on Amazon. So let's get in and see what she's packing. What you packing? All right. So I already see two of Val's signature things, and it's so fun to see them in person and to touch them. Right here on the top, she has put a, she's decorated it with a sticker that says you, or multiple stickers that say you are loved. Some packaging up here with some Disney princesses and a really cute hot pink pony and some hearts. Now I have some crazy lighting so that you will be able to see when I move this that she's also treated these so that they will not fall off. She's a crafter, so I'm pretty sure she used the glue called Mod Podge to um, secure this down to the plastic. So that is her, one of her signatures. The next signature that I can see right here on top is a little golden book. Isn't it so adorable? Um, so in an attempt to get this repacked exactly how she packed it, um, I haven't seen what's in here, I don't know yet, but I have a cheat box over here, just a clear box that I'm going to attempt to put all of these things in kind of a reverse so that I can put them back together as closely to how she had them packed as possible. So this is an adorable golden book. This reminds me of my grandma and being at her house and reading books uh, before bedtime. It's a really cute book. Where do kisses come from? 
and there's just all these different, you know, a parent and a child on each page. That otter is just adorable. Oh my goodness, look at these red pandas. Oh, the illustration is beautiful. Oh, the kitties. This looks like my Luke. I love it. Way to go, Val. Also, she has this letter to a very special girl. This is a private letter to the girl. I'm not going to open it, but um, I will say that I hope that um, Nicole opens the letter that I put in there for my box because I included a picture of me and Nicole in there and told the child that about this amazing journey that their box went on and how we packed it together as a whole YouTube community and sent it from all the way from Texas all the way up to Canada and then it traveled from Canada to them specifically and special and there was a picture of me and Nicole in it. So I hope that she gets to see that um, picture that I put in the box. So here is this beautifully packed I'm going to have a hard time getting this all back in. <laughs> Look at this really cute shirt. This is a Granimal shirt, sized 4T. So I'm guessing that it probably came from Walmart. She did a great job of packing it. Look how tiny thin she got it. Yes, this is a Walmart tag that I'm used to. There's no price on here, so I can't tell you how much it costs, but it is darling. I love it. Next is a bag with a, a pony on it. Hmm, I recognize this bag as a bag, uh, one of the backpacks from Dollar Tree, but this is different. I wonder if she um, added this to the backpack. It looks like some sort of a, it's not a patch, Maybe an iron-on, it could be an iron-on, but it's the same as this pony. So I'm very curious if it's an iron-on, how she got the iron-on on here too. You'll have to tell us Val, it's a mystery. I love it though, it's so cute. And I really like these bags for the quality, um, for the price. It's a great job, it, it's a good backpack that will hold you know, a book and a, um, what am I thinking? Book and all of your school supplies and um, a notebook. It's just enough to get you through the day at school. So, oh my gosh, look how cute. It's, it's packed so well. Down here, I can see a little bit of hygiene themed things. So look at this cute toothbrush. Again, I recognize it, but I'm not totally sure where it's from. If I was guessing, I would guess Walmart. And then these cute socks, they're so cute. I have a bee box. They would look so cute with my um, bee box and I will be on the lookout for these. I'm not sure where she got them, but the quality, it feels it's there. So I'm thinking maybe Target or Walmart. And inside here, she has stuffed these really cute princess glasses. You know what, I bet that's where the princess um, packaging came from that's on the front of the box. Oh look, it's, it's camera inception. Hi, hi me in the sunglasses. These are so cute. They're darling, darling, darling. I would guess that these came from Walmart, but most of these things are gonna be guesses because I have no idea and that's what's so fun. Um, it's really cool to put my hands on these things and see how they're packed. Oh, look at this cute bouncy ball. This looks like a bouncy ball from Oriental Trading, but I don't know. It is extra squishy. Oop, I, dropped, I dropped it. I dropped something every, every video, every single video. Here is a pencil pack. Let's see what she has put in here. Um, it is thinly packed, which I think is probably just a strategy to get the most out of the box. Look how tiny she got this thing, but let's see what's in here. Okay, so there is a red click pen, a uh, two pencil sharpeners, and one of them even has 
you know, both sizes of pencil sharpeners. So really she has three pencil sharpeners. A bunny eraser, oh my goodness gracious, that's adorable. So cute. If I was gonna guess, I would say Raymond Gettys. And a glue stick in here. So I am assuming that the rest of the school supplies have been strategically tucked in to get the most out of every ounce of this box. Okay, where did she have this? All right, sort of over here. I'm trying to repack it backwards. Look at this adorable sparkle bow. I love it. I love it. It's so sparkly and so cute. And then here it is. Here's the wow. Can you see it? It is a beautiful pony with golden hooves. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, and a Sparkle Girl doll. Oh, this is such a good set. I, I don't know why. I had never thought to put a Sparkle doll and a pony together um, because they could just be magical best friends. I love that she has put this organza bag over it to protect both the pony and the Sparkle Girl's hair. And actually, I'm just now seeing that it is a unicorn. So, so cute. Not just a pony, she is a unicorn. And she has pretty violet eyes. And the Sparkle Girl has a pretty purple fluffy dress. These are adorable. I love it. Love it. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I'm just gonna keep on with the wow because it's so cute. Look at this. Look at this beanie baby stuffed in this box. Oh, here's another one of those ponies. Okay, Val, you're gonna have to tell us your secret. You're gonna have to tell us how you've adhered these beautiful ponies to now three different surfaces. But look how cute the bow is in this bear's hair, its ear. She just has it clipped on to the back of the ear. I love it. And this is one of those pristine, from a collector probably, I wonder if she purchased this, if this was from her own collection, or if someone gave this to her, but you can tell it is in mint condition because someone loved it enough to put a plastic tag over its manufacturer's tag. Let's see, I don't wanna open it. Nope, it doesn't say its name on the front, but it is a cute, deep red, almost a burgundy. Oh, there's its name, it's Valentina. Valentina, oh, Valentina has a pretty heart. Oh, so cute. What a cute, cute bear. I'm gonna set her right here. It's, it's almost like a fuchsia. I can't tell if it's burgundy or fuchsia, but it's definitely not pink and it's definitely not red. It's somewhere in between and I love it. And these cups, I love these. This is definitely, oh, I'm wrong. I was gonna say that it is definitely from Walmart, but this is not a Walmart sticker. Do you know where your zone is from? If you know where your zone is from, leave it in the comments below. Hmm, it does say made in China. Val, I hope it's okay that I'm gonna take this sticker off and look underneath it and see. It says microwave safe, top rack only, dishwasher safe. So again, no, no uh, marks identifying where it's from. But down in here are really cute pairs of underwear. She has stuffed two down in here. One is Looney Tunes and one is Minnie Mouse, so cute. Let me see, let me tell you what sizes they are because it's so fun to learn from other packers. Um, if you guys don't know who Val is from um, Val's V Swing Shoebox Sunday, I will link her channel and her video below for you. These underwear are a size six, the Looney Tune ones, and the um, Minnie Mouse ones are mystery sized here we go size four so she has given this this girl two different very appropriate sizes for a toddler aged two to four my um niece just turned three and she's still in diapers so you know two pair of underwear is more than enough for the ages of two to four so i'm gonna put valentina back on her little roost and push her down in there 
I love the bow. So, so cute. Okay, here's a, um, another school supply. I will pull it out. I love these. This is a pair of Fiskar scissors with the case. This is so nice to include for a two to four year old box. That way they cannot hurt themselves, but they still have access to scissors for when they start school in a few years. And once they pull the little sheath off, it is a rounded set of scissors. I mean, I guess it's kind of in between pointed and round. Like it's not poking me right now, uh, but it's not completely blunt either. So this will last her well into her high school years if she takes care of them. Oh, look at this. She has included a mirror. So um, we do have to watch out when we include glass, but Val is very smart and she knows what she's doing. So she left the packaging on the back so that the mirror cannot break and so that the child is safe just in case in the rare off chance that it does break, it's not going to poke this child because it is still in the packaging and safe. So when this goes to the processing center, it should stay in the box. Should being the keyword. Um, hopefully this gets to the little girl um, wherever it is headed. Now at the Texas Distribution Center, woohoo! She has also included the comb that came with that set. And um, this is a sticker of Anna on there. So cute. I love this. This box, like, without a theme, but definitely with a theme. Like, to me, even if you're not going, like, for a theme, every box has a theme. And I pack every box with a theme. Not required, not important. But even if it's just in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, that's my pink box because it has five pink things in it, so it's my pink box. So even though um, a lot of my boxes have themes, it's perfectly fine and beautiful and wonderful if yours doesn't. Um, but also if you need help in organizing, um, give each box a theme, even if it doesn't have a theme. Even if the theme is, um, a color or the theme is the wow item is a soccer ball so to you that is your soccer box it just helps me to give each box a title so I know where I'm putting all of my things does that make sense cool okay moving forward she has included a set of stickers for this little girl in the Shopkins box so cute I am guessing that this is um, a um, a set of boxes that would come like at Valentine's Day so that you would pass out the this to your friends on Valentine's Day because it has a to and from. So I love picking up things on after holiday clearance. I wanna open it and see what these little stickers look like in here. They're so cute. If my fingers can pull them out. Look at those adorable, adorable stickers. How fun for this little girl to get to play with those stickers. Okay, let me put the box over here. She has also included a beautiful Elsa brush. So I'm assuming that that mirror set came with this pop-out brush and the comb and the mirror. And in here, she has another Elsa sticker. So let us know if you put these stickers on or if it came like this in that set because I'm guessing it was a set but maybe you're just super crafty and creative and put the stickers on to make it yourself. That's a, a cool observation that I would never have thought of. Okay I gotta pause for a water break. I left my Bucky's cup at my dad's this weekend. He moved and we were helping him and I just set it down on the counter and it'll be a while until I get it back. So, trusty old Yeti here. Oh, Val has also included some jewelry. I love including jewelry in all my boxes. So it's really cute to see these fun heart bracelets for this little girl. Here is another heart. And this has another Disney princess on it. See, 
This theme, um, if my brain needed to organize it, I could definitely call it the Valentina box because of her beautiful stuffy. I could call it the unicorn box because of her wow toy, or I could call it her Disney princess box because there's been several, several Disney princesses. So my point is just that if you need help organizing, give each box a title. It doesn't have to be a theme, but the title can help. So, oh, this is cram packed. Okay, ready? Boop. <laughs> this is all of her other hair accessories. There are little barrettes, there are um, elastics, there is a cross necklace. I don't wanna pull it out because I don't I know if I'll be able to close it back again, but here is a better look. Can you see without me dropping anything? What a cute way to store these. I'm trying to see if there is a brand in here. Nope, just a cute heart with a cute princess on it. Again, it also has a to and a from, so I'm wondering if this was a Valentine after, um, after Valentine's clearance that she picked up adorable in this box. Okay, here is a hygiene kit. I love this. What a wonderful, smart way to do this. These are the snack packs that you can get at Dollar Tree, the ones that are vertical. I think you can pick them up at some supermarkets and grocery stores as well. It's just, I see them mostly at Dollar Tree. And in here she has some Band-Aids, peanut style, um, a really fun scrunchie, one of the fancy Nancy magic towels. So this is going to be her washcloth. She also has a, uh, let's see, what brand is it? I cannot see a brand, but this is definitely a bar of soap and a little sewing kit. And over here is a fingernail file. She did a great job of packing this amazing hygiene kit. I think this is a great idea if you guys are preparing um, for a church packing party. This is a great way to get everything needed um, in a hygiene kit and to be sure that each box gets one. Have a pre-packing party before your packing party and pack together all these fun hygiene kits. Um, Val did such a great job of showing us a wonderful example of this. So smart. Okay, over here down on the side, it's getting, it's getting pretty low, but over here on the side, she has put some thin, thinner items. So this is her jumbo pack of crayons, eight crayons. Now I have seen these several places, but I'm guessing that she picked these up at Dollar General. Um, you can still get these for a dollar at Dollar General, or sometimes you can get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar 25. So these are absolutely adorable Sesame Street. Um, bigger jumbo crayons for the dexterity of the little fingers to use for coloring. She has also put down in the side other thin things is this flip heart book. I'm guessing it's another one of those scores that she got after Valentine's. And it is just um, white paper for the little girl to draw on. And a Paw Patrol sticker book. I love it. So cute. Let's see what all these stickers look like. There are 111 stickers in here and there are so many so many adorable stickers i'm seeing a lot of hearts i'm wondering if the theme of this could be after valentine's um because i'm guessing that that might be where this came from too val does a great job of buying like big um easter kits and big valentine's kits and breaking them up and putting so much fun in so many different boxes um, but that's the back and that's the front. And this is her little sticker book. So, so cute. Here is a bandana. That's what I was looking for. So cute. Just a polka dotted bandana. I've never seen this at Hobby Lobby. And the way it's folded, I'm wondering if maybe this came from Oriental Trading. That would be my guess. But... I've been known to be wrong, so it's adorable. 
Val, let us know where some of these things are from in the comments below in case others want to purchase them. Oh, what is this? This looks like a craft because Val is so crafty um, and I kind of recognize like the style of paper because I'm a crafter too. I wonder if Val made this. Um, it looks kind of like a um, 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that she has folded in half and made a little notebook out of. I could be wrong, but I'm just guessing because she is so crafty and puts so much love into her boxes. Here are some more of those ponies and unicorns. I gotta know where she got these and how she got this idea. So great. Then here are all of her pencils. So what she did, which is absolutely brilliant, is, and this is a good pro tip, if your pencil pack is too bulky and you want to put in all of these great wow items that she did, um, take maybe take your pencils out and lay them flat on the bottom of your box. It will give you more opportunity and more room to fill in everything in your box. So let's see what she's got going on here. She has three red heart pencils and these are number two pencils, by the way, like lead pencils. And she has five heart colored pencils. So if you look at the bottom here, you see the different colors of the lead. These are colored pencils. These are so cute. Um, again, I think she probably got these after Valentine's um, in a pack. And I love that she just put some cute masking tape on the end to keep the um, pencils from marking on anything in the box since they were not in the pencil pack. And then she has included two of the large number two Ticonderoga um, pencils for this little girl to learn how to write. They're called My First Ticonderoga. And so that's really important that she included the uh, pencil sharpener with the fat pencil sharpener and the skinny pencil sharpener. She is on the ball. She didn't miss a thing. Now the last two things are in here down flat and it is a pack of sparkly princess stickers. Can, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up the sparkle because of the glare, but it is so glittery and sparkly. There are 38 pieces and this is um, a Hallmark set. So on the back here it says $2. Um, I know I have seen similar items at Dollar General, but I'm not sure where she got these. So I think that they are adorable. And the very last thing in here, I've seen her put these in several of her boxes before. This is a great thing. It is a coloring pad with Princess Sophia, Sophia the First. And it has such pretty coloring pages on bright white paper. And it fits down in the bottom of this box so perfectly. So some of the pages, oops, some of the pages are vertical and some of the pages are horizontal, which gives this little girl a lot of opportunities to color Princess Sophia. And I've never watched Princess Sophia, so I don't really know, but it looks like to me that this bird right here is a robin. So I'm in the box too. <laughs> Not really. But this has been so much fun and I think Val did a fantastic job. And even though I have seen her unbox so many boxes, I feel like I know her even better unboxing one of her boxes myself. And also there's probably things in here that I've seen her do before like the hygiene kit. I'm sure she does this frequently and I'm sure I watch it all the time and just blow right past it. But being able to touch it myself really made me think and see just how genius this is to have a little hygiene kit that just goes in every box and you don't have to worry about, did I get this or did I get that? It's just all already put together. So, Nicole, thank you for doing this crazy thing and driving all the way across our beautiful country and visiting us and doing all of the fun American things. 
Val, thank you for packing such a thoughtful, cute, non-themed, themed box and letting me open it and get so much inspiration from the darling things that you put in here. And you guys, thanks for coming along. Um, now, I have linked both Val's and Nicole's boxes below and their channels. So, Nicole's channel is called Kit Nicole, and Val's channel is called V Swain Shoebox Sundays. They are wonderful ladies. If you don't already, go check them out and follow them. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye!